Oh, Bart Scott, who is no stranger to sharing his opinion on the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, after all, he used to be a Baltimore Raven. So him as an analyst, uh, he has a different perspective because not only has he watched the game, but he has played the game. So a lot of what he says, it hits a little bit different. Now, uh, Bart Scott is known for saying some pretty outlandish stuff. And with this trade that he suggested the Baltimore Ravens do... It's not extremely outlandish, but to me, the compensation, that's where it got a little tricky for me. Bart Scott, he suggested that the Baltimore Ravens trade a second round pick to acquire Giants running back Saquon Barkley. Now, I wouldn't mind if the Baltimore Ravens got Saquon Barkley, but for a second round pick, that's where it's a bit of a head scratcher because while we know Saquon Barkley, he got it all. He can do it all. He is a beast of a running back. We know that for certain. But giving up a second round pick for a running back that's dealing with the same issues that one of our current running backs is dealing with. Uh, one wants a new contract. I ain't got no problem with them wanting a new contract. That's fine. Get your money. But injuries. Injuries. The reason that uh, this trade is even being suggested in the first place is because we're missing our running back due to injury. Saquon Barkley has missed a lot of time due to injury. We know when he's on the field, he can put it all together. But a lot of times he's not on the field. So giving up a second round pick, that draft capital to acquire him, that's where things will get iffy for me. If it was like a fourth round pick or something like that, oh, yeah, go ahead, do your thing. And even though I know there are going to be some Ravens fans that are like, oh, a second round pick, please. Uh, they don't be hitting on those second round picks anyway, so might as well give it up for a proven player. So I, I could get that part too. But still, I would be a little hesitant uh, with this one. Now, with even though with Bart Scott, with him suggesting this trade for the Baltimore Ravens, and I would be absolutely shocked if they did it. But with him suggesting this trade, uh, even though I don't necessarily agree with it wholeheartedly, I, I did appreciate him and his reasoning. Some of the reasons that he listed why the Baltimore Ravens should do this, he said, uh, one, because J.K. Dobbins is injured. But he said the Baltimore Ravens, they value the position because... They were in contract talks with J.K. Dobbins. Uh, he talked about how Jonathan Taylor set the market, uh, and he kind of alluded to, hey, the Baltimore Ravens, they could get something done with Saquon Barkley. Since they value the position, they will be willing to talk contract with him. I mean, you give up a second-round pick for somebody, you definitely better be willing to talk contract with him. I mean, look at Roquan Smith last year. That second-round pick, it, it turned out beautiful. Um, but another thing he said, he said with Justice Hill, he said Justice Hill has been fumbling. I said, oh, okay, I get that point a little bit too, but still... If, if, if I'm the Baltimore Ravens, then I'm not really thinking that running back is the, the, the make or break position. The position that I'm looking at is pass rush. I, I'm looking at somebody that can get to the quarterback because think about it. Right now, the Baltimore Ravens, on defense, they've been doing their thing, and they're missing a lot of people. And their defense has still been playing overall pretty good. But one area of the defense where they could really improve, some could say secondary, even though they, they just got Marlon Humphrey back, and he'll continue to get better. Um, the safeties have been doing their thing. Marcus Williams, hopefully he continues to get healthier. They still got Geno Stone. So they're pretty good in the secondary. I mean, you, they could use another guy who's like that, but that, that'd be cool. But I would much rather them get a pass rusher because that linebacker, that inside linebacker, they definitely sat there. Um, but... You know that pass rush has been bad this year. They, they can't get there. Jadavian Clowney, he gets there and he just takes a swing and he misses. Y'all know that's my guy. Hashtag JC24. But Jadavian Clowney is having trouble finishing. But it, it can't all be him. He cannot do it all by himself. If you could get somebody opposite him who could really get to that quarterback consistently, oh, man, this would make a good, a really good defense that much better that could really put them over the top and that's the thing that I think that they need the most but back to the running back conversation there have been several people that have suggested that the Baltimore Ravens trade for a running back I know my guy Noah uh, from for the flock and, and, and I do think that and I, I'm not saying it's just to say it, but I really do believe this I think that Noah uh, for the flock he is the best Baltimore Ravens content creator that there is out here he'd be killing it uh, but he had recently suggested and he has been suggesting that the Baltimore Ravens go after Josh Jacobs Josh Jacobs the leading rusher from last year from the Raiders uh, Josh Jacobs who my favorite thing that my guy Noah talked about when it came to Josh Jacobs is his durability He's healthy, and he has been healthy. He has continued to remain healthy, and that's something, as a Baltimore Raven fan, you love to hear. You love to hear. Now, if Bart Scott was like, hey, the Ravens should send a second-round pick to the Raiders for Josh Jacobs, then I may reconsider it a bit more. But with Saquon Barkley, it's like, uh, that's what we're trying to avoid. We got enough injuries already. But with Josh Jacobs, like, he got a clean bill of health. So that would be a beautiful thing. Now, um, somebody else that... I haven't heard anybody really talking about as far as a running back that the Baltimore Ravens could potentially trade for. My guy, BZ. BZ, talk, uh, BZ uh, 305 Extreme Sports Talk. He suggested this to me 
weeks ago, maybe like a month and a half ago, actually, he said, what about if the Baltimore Ravens traded for somebody who they're going to be seeing this Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Eastern time? Titans running back Derrick Henry. And I was like, whoa, hold up, Derrick Henry? And he said, yeah, Derrick Henry. And he said, think about it. The Titans, they're not having a good season right now. Derrick Henry, he coming up on the end of his contract anyway. And Derrick Henry, him in the backfield with Lamar Jackson. Now, when you think about, when I think about Derrick Henry, initially I think about bruising running back, tough running back, uh, like a bigger version of Gus Edwards almost. But then you don't, you don't really think about speed when it comes to Derrick Henry, but he ain't no slouch. Derrick Henry ain't slow now. Uh, and with Derrick Henry, the thing about him, it's like once he picks it up, once he gets that full head of steam going, that's it. Ain't nobody going to tackle him. Ain't nobody going to want to tackle him. Like with Gus Edwards, you already know people don't want to tackle him. Uh, he be getting his yards. He be getting his nice little chunks and whatnot. But with Derrick Henry, oh, my goodness, that would be crazy. So that is somebody else to possibly maybe consider after this game, obviously. Maybe the Ravens could be like, you know what? We saw him up close and personal in London. We like what we saw. We're going to go for him. So it, just, just something to think about. Just something to think about. But what running backs would you all think the Baltimore Ravens should acquire? Do you agree with Boss Scott with his reasoning? Hey, they, they should give up a second-round pick to get Saquon Barkley. Do you agree with my guy Noah from Fort of Flock who said they should go for Josh Jacobs? Or do you agree with my guy Beasy who said the Baltimore Ravens should acquire Derrick Henry in a trade? Ooh. Or you know what? Oh, are y'all on my side? Do y'all think, hey, the running back's actually pretty good right now? I mean, I wouldn't mind if the Ravens got any one of those guys, but – I really think that pass rush, a pass rusher should be what the Ravens are eyeing. I mean, you could always use a significant offensive lineman too. Maybe a left, well, I don't think they're going to invest into no left tackle until next offseason. But cross that road when we get there, cross that bridge when we get there and whatnot. But right now, the Ravens need somebody that can impact this team and really help take them over the top. Can a running back do that? Uh, they could. Um, but I think a pass rusher could that much more.